sixth lesson for you so we're going to start with the unit two we're going to listen the story about Jack and the Beanstalk hola Diego como estas vamos a empezar la sexta grabación um, y vamos a empezar escuchando la historia de Jan de Jack and the Beanstalk Juan y los frijoles mágicos ok Vamos a escucharla, vamos a ponerla por aquí. Muy bien. Ahí está. Vamos a escuchar. Pupils Book, Unit 2. Page 30. Reading. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack lived on a small farm with his mother. They were very poor. One day Jack's mother said, My dear son, please take our cow to the town. Sell her. Come back with the money. Jack walked across the fields to the river. A man was on the bridge. That's a beautiful cow, he said. I've got five special beans. Please give your cow to me and take these beans. He showed the beans to Jack. They're very pretty colors, said Jack. Please take my cow and give your beans to me. Jack smiled. He was pleased with the special beans. Jack walked home. He showed the beans to his mother, but she was cross. She pushed them out of Jack's hand. All the special beans were on the ground. Go to bed, Jack, she said. In the morning, Jack looked out of the window. A huge beanstalk was next to the house. The top of the beanstalk was above the clouds. Jack climbed the beanstalk. At the top was a huge castle. Jack counted six tall gold towers. He opened the large door and walked quietly inside. An ugly giant lived in the castle. He was asleep in the huge kitchen. Next to the enormous giant was a tiny brown hen in a small gold cage. 
The hen looked sadly at Jack. Please help me, it said. I always live in this cage. I cannot walk. I cannot open my wings. I never see the sky. Jack opened the cage and picked up the little hen. He walked quickly to the beanstalk and he climbed down. Just then, the giant opened his eyes. Where is my hen? he shouted. The angry giant walked to the beanstalk and he looked down. I can see you, he roared at Jack. I am coming. Jack jumped onto the ground. He picked up an axe and chopped down the beanstalk. The giant did not climb down the beanstalk. The little hen clucked happily. A shiny gold egg was on the ground. Jack and his mother were surprised. It was a very special hen. Very good. Reading and comprehension and vocabulary. Lectura de comprensión y vocabulario. Who said it? Read the sentences. Circle the person. ¿Quién dijo esto? Lee las oraciones y encierra a la persona. Come back with the money. Who said that? The man? Jack's mother. Jack's mother. You need to go to the story and look what the mother said. Jack lived in a small farm with his mother. They were very poor. One day Jack's mother said, My dear son, please take our cow to the town. Sell her, come back with the money. So, who say that? Jack's mother. You're going to circle. Vas a encerrar esta en un círculo. I've got five special beans. Who say that? Jack or the man? Look at the story. Here. A man was on the bridge. This is a beautiful cow, he said. I've got five special beans. Entonces, volvemos acá. I've got five special beans. The man said. He went to circle it. They are very pretty colors. Who say that? The man or Jack? Let's see. Let's see. He showed the beans to Jack. They, they are very pretty colors, said Jack. So, who say that? They are very pretty colors, Jack. You're going to circle Jack. Go to bed. Who said that? Jack or Jack's mother? Let's see. Jack walked home. He showed the beans to his mother, but she was cross. She pushed them, she pushed them out of Jack's hand. All the special beans were on the ground. Go to bed, Jack, she said. Who say that? Jack's mother, of course. Jack's mother. Go to bed. Jack's mother. You're going to circle this. I cannot walk. Who say that? The giant or the hen? Let's see. Please help me, it said. I always live in this cage. I cannot walk. I cannot open my wings. I never see the sky. Jack opened the cage and picked up the little hen. Who say that? I cannot walk. The giant, the hen. The hen. You're going to circle the hen. Where is my hen? Who say that? Jack or the giant? Let's see. Just when just the giant opened his eyes. Where is my hen? He shouted. The angry giant walked to the beanstalk and he looked down. 
Where is my hand? Who said it? The giant. You're going to circle the giant. I can see you. Who said that? The giant or the Jack's mother? Let's see. Here. The angry giant walked to the beanstalk and he looked down. I can see you, he roared at Jack. I'm coming. Who said that? The giant. Okay, write the words under the correct pictures. Here we have a little vocabulary. Tenemos aquí un pequeño vocabulario. Y vamos a escribir las palabras debajo de cada imagen. Ugly significa feo. Vamos a poner aquí el significado. Ugly significa feo. Vamos a esperar a que termine de procesar. ¿Ves que está girando esto? Ok. Ahí está. Feo. Ugly significa feo. Por pobre. Little, pequeño. Surprise, sorpresa. Brown, café. Special, especial. Angry, enojado. Cross, enojado. Enormous, enorme. Ok, vamos a poner aquí, debajo de cada imagen, las palabras que le correspondan. Vamos a empezar, a ver aquí, un momento... Estoy buscando el momento. Ok. Vamos pues. La gallina era special. Special. El gigante, ugly, enormous, la mamá, cross, estaba enojada, la gallina, little, Brown, poor, la mamá, poor, enormous, ugly, angry, angry, muy bien, entonces ahora vamos a ver Ugly, ya usamos ugly, mm, aquí, la gallina vamos a poner también surprised, aquí, surprised, una sorpresa, ahí está, ya usamos ugly, poor, little, surprise, brown, special también ya lo usamos, angry, enormous. Ok, creo que así ya está bien. Son tres, seis, siete, son nueve palabras. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Muy bien, listo. Read these words. Cross. Enojada. Tiny, pequeño. Tiny es pequeño. Pequeño. Sleep. Dormido. Small también es pequeño. Chico, pequeño. Pretty, bonito, bonita. Huge, enorme. Large, grande. Angry, enojado. Ahí está. Cross también es enojado. Find two words for little. Write them here. Escribe dos palabras para pequeño, que signifiquen pequeño. Vamos a poner tiny. Ahí está, tiny. Tiny yes, y... Tiny, small. Ok, vamos a poner aquí. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny, small. Dos palabras que signifiquen, que sean sinónimos, que signifiquen pequeño, little. Find two words for enormous. Dos palabras que signifiquen enorme. Aquí tenemos huge, huge y large. ¿Ok? Vamos a pasar al siguiente ejercicio. Look at the picture. Observa la imagen. Talk about the picture. Then listen. Listen and read. Escucha, habla acerca de la imagen y luego escucha. Luego escucha y lee. Save Henry. Ok, vamos a observar. Y vamos a escuchar. Esperar un momento a que termine de procesar. Pupils Book, Unit 2, Page 33. Activities 1 and 2. Okay. Pupils book, unit 2, page 33. Activities 1 and 2. Save Henry. Part 2. Pear Tree Farm. Good morning, Mr. Oates. Good morning, Miss Carey. Welcome to Pear Tree Farm. Thank you. What animals have you got on the farm, Mr. Oates? I've got cows, sheep,
something happens. Pupil's book, Unit 2, page 33. Activities 1 and 2. Save Henry. Part 2. Pear Tree Farm. Good morning, Mr. Oates. Good morning, Miss Carey. Welcome to Pear Tree Farm. Thank you. What animals have you got on the farm, Mr. Oates? I've got cows, sheep, and, and goats. I can see hens. I can see a horse. That's Henry. He's a beautiful horse. He's fantastic. Mr. Oates, what happened to your farm? Look at the house. The windows are broken. We had a terrible storm last night. Thunder and lightning. Wind and rain. Look at my new tractor. Oh dear. Look at Henry's table. There are holes in the roof. Look at the barn. It hasn't got a roof. And there's a water everywhere. Don't climb on the gate, Alfie. Oops, sorry, Mr. Oates. Okay, vamos a escuchar el siguiente track. Pupil's Book, Unit 2, page 33. Activity 3, Listen and Say. Save Henry. Part 2, Pear Tree Farm. Good morning, Mr. Oates. Good morning, Mr. Oates. Good morning, Miss Carey. Welcome to Pear Tree Farm. Good morning, Mr. Carey. Welcome to Pear Tree Farm. Thank you. What animals have you got on the farm, Mr. Oates? Hay que repetir, Diego. I've got cows, sheep, and goats. I can see the hens. I can see a horse. What's Henry? He's a beautiful horse. He's fantastic. Mr. Oates, what happened to your farm? Look at the house. The windows are broken. We had a terrible storm last night. Thunder and lightning. Wind and rain. Look at my new tractor. Oh dear. Look at Henry's stable. There are holes in the roof. Look at the barn. It hasn't got a roof. And there's water everywhere. Don't climb at the gate, Alfie. Oops, sorry, Mr. Oates. Okay, look at the picture. Lulu, look. Lulu, look at the horse. Hello, goats. Observa la imagen. Talk about the picture. Use the word in the boxes. Aquí tenemos un pequeño vocabulario. Talk, hablar. Climb, trepar. Like, gustar. Watch, observar. Live, vivir. Help, ayudar. Farmer, granjero. Sheep, ovejas. Gate, puerta. Goats, chivos, chivas. Stable. Establo, horse, caballo. Ok, vamos a dejarlo hasta aquí y en la siguiente sesión vamos a hacer estas preguntas que va a ser un poco laborioso. Ok, nos vemos en la próxima sesión.